All right, so we should be good to go. All right. Are you live? Yeah, we're good. Okay, sweet. So today we're going to talk about She-Hulk for like, I don't know, five minutes. I know, I know you're ready to talk about this episode. Like, <laughs> hey. I, 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 watched it, I watched it last night. I go, ooh, spicy. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll do the rating system real quick, and then we'll go into it. But you got to check out the graphic that I made. It's definitely uh, one of, I wouldn't say my best work, but it's pretty, uh, pretty fun. That's, oh, put it this way, Mike. Put it this way, Mike. This one is about, number one, the photo's covering her finger. But Whatever, this one is about 20 times better than all the other ones <laughs> that you've done. <laughs> and BD, I know you agree with that. No, D? No. You don't want to match with the Targaryen? No, that's not the Targaryen, dude. I just threw her. I, I threw her face in the ring there because that's what we're gonna talk about. But I had to put. I had to make this one. That's a she hulk when she's going through her thing, her match dot com or whatever. It would have been. It would have been better if it was the Targaryen looking through and match with BD. Well, he's, why? He's, he, because he's a dragon master. He can't handle she hulk. Napa's too low. Napa can. <laughs> Napa can. <though. laughs> that's true. All right, all right, all right, wait, who's going first? Uh, I don't know. You watched it last Mike, night. I want Mike, no, I want Mike to go first. No, you should give Spencer first. That's Spencer doesn't watch this. So he's here for the other shows. Oh, okay. So who wants first? Uh, okay. Let's go, Dan. Yeah, since. Oh, I agree with Tony. I want to hear Mike's first. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go, Mike. Yeah, go, Mike. Yeah, go, yeah, Mike. Yeah, go, yeah. Mike. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to officially give this episode a 10. I, mm. th- I thought that there was good, like, it's just a good balance of everything. There was a little action, which was whatever. Uh, the comedy was good. The, um, it was just good. You got everything out of it. The Johnny Bla- Donnie Blaze, he was funny. Mm-hmm. Long. I mean, it was just good. You know, Madison, all good. Um, you know, short and simple, but, like, I mean, <laughs> it, the ending was kind of like... I mean, I just feel like they're painting... <clears throat> it feels like they're painting men, like, in the show, just as, like, either, you know, guys that are just, like, in it for one thing, or pigs, or... You know what I mean? Like, even the doctor, right? Like, at the end, he's like, oh, who are you? It's like, he can't figure it out. What, he's, like, not a real doctor? I'm like, come on. Like, it's just... that that, that To me, that was, like... Why do I, I listen? Guys are dumb. I understand this, but like, do we really need a whole show about it? I mean, we 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 watch football and sports. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I don't know, but it was good. The, the ten, I, I thought the uh, action was good. The the um the Donnie Blaze stuff was just funny. The courtroom scene that was just crazy funny. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. And the the that thing the like one. I got I got a bird too. That was like yeah just... yeah. That was. <laughs> That was my, that was my fucking joke, motherfucker. <laughs> that was, that dude, that was funny. That was hilarious, yeah. Like, the one with uh, the lawyers, like, putting the rabbit behind him because he messed up the... Cl- oh, my God. Was, was he all a magician? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, like, that, the, the speed on the episode was good, right? Like, I think, yeah. um, you know, 27 minutes or 25 minutes or whatever, for an episode like that, that's perfect. The other episode just felt like... Like it was right, just starting right. to get going, you know what I mean? And then that's all right, all right. So Dan, so Dan, what do you think? I thought it was ten too. Oh, okay. All right. You know, what's funny is I was waiting for him to almost say like seven, just because you said ten. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, just wait, and then like that's uh, why that's why you gotta get his score first. Exactly. Exactly. So he can't I, he can't change it if he agrees with me. Right. Exactly. Because I'm like, all right, Mike. You know, I think the theme is Mike goes first explains his points and then Dan goes second because you know what well now Dan's Honestly, agreeing with me so I've, I've been right you know, so. <laughs> no this, this is the first time uh, I think we're we're actually in agreement like yeah. with the show see the, this said. is you're right this is the first time we're in agreement but this is also mm-hmm. this is not the first time I've been right so that's see, see what I'm saying well, no this is the first time you've been right no 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 no, no 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 absolutely not mm. we're gonna go the other way I've been right every mm-hmm. single take, and this is the first time uh, you agree with no, me. Absolutely not. <laughs> He's right you, about you, you couldn't say that. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Who does that? Who does that? Uh, we're watching football with uh, Duncan yesterday, and Mike is like, "Oh, Tua, like his quarterback. Oh, Tua's garbage." And like, and like he's just saying it so Duncan like is like getting flustered. And I go, Duncan, Duncan, you know he's just saying that, right? And he goes, "Yeah, it's working though." Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, okay, you know, like you know, the same thing I do. To- Dermot, you know what yeah. I mean? I, I clown Dermot, and then he's like, "Yeah, we trolling," and I was like, "Are we?" Then, what's that? You know. What's that movie? Uh, Dinner for Schmucks. That's what I do to Dan. I put the eggs in his brain. <laughs> wow. Mm, eggs. Wow. You give yourself a lot of credit. Uh, all right, so JV, what did you think? Quickly. Uh, I thought it was like a eight or nine out of ten. Not a perfect, but uh, the comedy is really, really good. Uh, I really just want to know. Who Johnny Blaze is uh, that old guy that was like mentoring him? Oh, not the the mag- other magician. Yeah, that yeah. Was, like, old black guy. I want to know who he is because he was like, yeah, let's you know keep going with it. Yeah, do the thing, do the thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, apparently, I, what I think it's I think it's Agatha as like in a shapeshift form. I think. Just trying to disrupt it. Uh, I did like how they played on the thing, kind of like um, some of the movie. Like, uh, did you see that weather? Disaster movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, where like they're like meteor out there. Uh, people basically just look over natural disasters and they go to the like go to everybody and like, hey, shit's coming down. Like you should pay attention. They're like, yeah, it's all good. Wong's sitting here for the whole half of the first episode. He's like, interdimensional portals <laughs> not good for us. It brings doom and destruction to come the world. All right, we're gonna hear, do this hearing tomorrow. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. that was really fun. And then, obviously, the court judge stuff. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. reading something right now. There's something. Who is really Todd? The first guy that she went on date with, the weird, creepy guy. Like, the super, super weird, creepy guy. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there's something about this dude, and I haven't yet to read up on it. Big D, if you know anything about it. Yeah, uh, he's, like, asking about the blood, right? And stuff like that. And, like, the vibranium and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Todd. Yeah, the, the, the yeah I guy. think he's part, he's part of that. Uh, I think he was part of the group that was trying to get her blood at the beginning. Like, uh, I, I think they're just poking fun at Marvel fans. Oh, uh, okay. You think so? I mean, that's weird, too, yeah. Yeah. I just didn't read. I didn't read. I just saw a little he, clip he's, of He's just, like, a super fan who asks a bunch of questions. Ah, uh, okay. He's a Dan. He's a Napa. There, 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 there's no, like... Like the Johnny Blaze is an original character. The unless they decide to like randomly change things, the old magician dude is just an original character. The, no, no one's like a hidden character. The only thing that could potentially be considered a possible hidden character, and at this point, the internet's beaten this whole freaking thing to death because they won't let it go. Is there's a potential reference to Mephisto. Where? Because, because Madison, yeah. you know, two ends with a Y, but not where you think. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, mentions that she gave up her blood to oh, a yeah. goat. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to ask you about. Yeah, 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 because yeah. she actually... The, the demon. The, yeah, the, the demon taking the form of a goat and getting blood from innocent women to try yeah. to use it to get to Earth is a comic book storyline for Mephisto. Mm. Granted, that's also probably just another red herring bullshit, because yeah, also, yes. like, the, the goat's name is, like, Jake, and that's never <laughs> been something that Mephisto mm. has used as an alias. Exactly. Yeah, but look, at, but look, but look yeah. at the girl, though. The girl, the girl was smashed on genitonics. Yeah. So, yeah. And then the other uh, magician yeah, was like, I know but, Jake. <laughs> Yeah, but that yeah. <laughs> that whole that whole thing, unless they decide to really play the long con with that or something, yeah. is probably just another joke at all the people like, oh, who's this character? It's Mephisto. Yeah, they're just trying to poke. People are okay. trying to say Madison's Mephisto too. So yeah. No hell no. I I thought maybe uh, the old guy, which is a fun fact, uh, is that he's the oldest living actor. He's 104 years old. Like I read up on him, I was yeah. like. Who is this guy? You know, I feel the like I've seen mentor. Him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, f- I feel like I've seen him before, and he's the oldest living actor in the United States. That's yes. pretty funny. Yes. I, probably, I think in the whole world too. So, Under but that. I thought maybe he was a little bit of Agatha, like I'll do this, like kind of coaxing, kind of like I got that feel from it. It could be completely wrong, obviously, but I got that feel because like she was doing all that shape shifting. You know, she got the the guy that looked like Quicksilver to be like you know taken over and like, but. 
and I thought maybe that would be like something that they'd try to put those two together a little bit. But. So, uh, so uh, with these upcoming episodes, we we've gotten the the the, the backstory. We've gotten how she changed. We've gotten how, uh, her getting into the lawyer and establishing herself as the head lawyer for the super villain or super firm, mm-hmm. superhero firm. And now, she, like Mike said before, uh, in the, like the first round, he says, "Listen, they're going to have to have a date, a date one, and this will be the date episode mm-hmm. where she goes and tries to do the multiple mm-hmm. dates." Um, uh, what do you think is next? And then obviously the play on interdimensional portals and stuff with Wong, which she'll probably be in another episode just because. No, I don't, you don't I think don't, so? I think that's, I think they're just... You think that's, a, want, you think this is a wrap they, on the they, Johnny Blaze, like the, this portal yeah, episode, the, you think it's yeah, done? The, the portals is just, like, a lot of, and this is what we've seen from a lot of these Disney Plus shows, because they were all filmed at the same time, and they didn't know what the endings of each other was going to be, and they only had, like, the basis of like okay you know this is the direction we're going in yeah i think a lot of these things and the reason why like there's dimensions of portals and alternate dimensions and various things in like all of these different things is laying breadcrumbs for future stuff more specifically yep. for like yeah. Mania and everything Fantastic. the whole yeah the whole like king conquer arc and everything that's going to be coming up soon yeah. So I think this, this like along with Multiverse of Madness, along with you know, the, alter alternate <laughs> versions of characters, different things and different thing, you know, different dimensions, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, the the Moon Knight afterlife dimensions, and you know, Thor having Valhalla and all these things are just leading into, like this this whole further, you know, yeah. what they're going down with the story. So the, yeah. this is another little okay, you know, people are using and abusing. The, the the portals, the different dimensions. Mm. It's gonna have consequences, and it's gonna lead up to to things in the future. I think mm-hmm. Do, I think okay. Donnie Blaze is gonna be in the show though a little bit more. I think I mean, that that'd be interesting because the whole concept behind it is hilarious. Yeah. As in, in a world where magic is actually a real thing, the fact that there's still like a cheap, shitty Vegas magician. Yeah. Like is is the best concept I've ever seen, and yeah. the, the the fact with the 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 lawyers a magician too, like that whole, yeah. like just like you know you have actual magician sorcerers, people who can make things appear out of nowhere, and this dude's throwing a smoke bomb and having his lawyer friend magician put the rabbit behind him, mm-hmm. like yeah. uh, absolute hilarious. I think yeah. Master's so, gonna be around uh, too. So 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 let me let me say. Uh, so we can just wrap this up and get to the next thing. Um, Mike, I Mike watched it and I didn't watch it yet. And he's like, I, I watched it at his house and he's like, yo, this is like, I gave this the episode a 10. And that was my issue is it was a good episode. And I think it was probably the best episode, but like I was expecting like when he said a 10, I'm thinking, okay, something must have happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like Mike was giving like sevens to things I was giving nines to. So I'm like 10. Okay. I think he was just trying to appease no, no, no! Well, I honestly thought it was the best episode out of out of everything. Yeah, so, but, yeah. It's not, but it wasn't. A, uh, ten is a perfect everything, and you had <sighs> something to say negatively at the end of your reboot. About so, I mean, the, the whole overarching of the show. Drink, okay, okay. The, the, there was alcohol in this show again, too. You know what I mean? Like, so they're drinking, like, and just like let's just flip it the other way around, right? If this was a Hulk show, and he's going to on uh, Matcher and matching with women, the pitchforks would be out, you know what I mean? Like, with all these different kinds of stereotyping of women. Mike's mad that there was, wasn't any twerking in this one. No, damn this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. So I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you, put, if, you, if you reverse it, then it's like, oh, man, like, this show, is cancel this show. Take the thing off. But, you know, if it's... Uh, well, you have to, like I told you before, the, what I said last time, this show is... I mean, not not to sound like a like an asshole, but it it is directed to bring the female consumer into this. You know, what I mean, it is for people that watch Marvel. Okay, but and, and I, I I agree with you on that point. But they had they just had Miss Marvel, and they're gonna have the Marvels, and I thought they did a good job with that. Like, it wasn't like any kind of sexist like. Um, you know, banter and any of that kind of stuff. And I get that there's different... Well, like, you, you, you're watching a female 
led comedy show. Have you not seen like Ally McBeal or any female led comedy show? I'm sorry, I've never, I've never watched Ally McBeal. I've never watched Ally McBeal. Sorry. What about? Yeah. So yeah. Two broke oh, so girls. I, I watched. Charm. No. No, he's not used to the genre. That's Buffy all. the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> I mean, those are like that's not a comedy, right? Like, I get what they're so trying they're... to. Buffy is a comedy. Yes, it is. Okay. Parsh, partially, it's not. It's like half comedy, half yeah, drama. Like Dan, I, you know, I'm not even a. a stretching, right? Yeah, he's stretching. All right, can we go to the next thing then? Since we're let's like get out of this out. house, baby. All right. Yeah, well, no, let's no. start. Let's start with Tony didn't watch it, so let's, let's start with uh, Ring of Power. Now, now I'm going to be <sighs> honest with you. I only watched the first episode on Ring of Power and and Dragons, but we, it's been five weeks and we haven't watched it, so it's time we got to talk about it. Still. So yeah, uh, how have you only watched yeah. the first episode of? I don't know. I he, he had an oppor- he had an opportunity to to busy playing Catan. Oh no, because you can you can play Catan and watch the episode at the same time because you can play Catan on the phone. So yeah, so I haven't watched the so only reason why watched, the only reason why I haven't watched House is because I don't have HBO. So, and all the sites that I have that, like, stream stuff are not working right now. So, like, Mike just found out that we had, he has HBO, but he I told don't. me today. Like, I don't. At, like, I, it, oh, was no, a, no, no. it was a free, watch a free episode. Uh, okay, well, yeah, see, and so I, so, but I'm caught up on Ring because, Good. one, that show is awesome. It's fucking and two, All right, well, and, I'm, I, can, I can catch up on that because I have Amazon Prime. I cannot catch that's up. That's why I don't why you didn't just catch up on that today? Like because, that, that should have been number one priority, man. Because, That's a good show. Well, the first episode of House was amazing. I thought it was amazing. Well, if you think that it's amazing, wait till I just yeah, it was so good. Like, <laughs> like I thought, oh, this. Wait, wait, so, how about, how, so how about this? We'll do let's do House because Mike only talked about and see what Mike thinks about. For actually, no, because Tony hasn't seen. It. Yeah, we'll just do ring, do ring, do ring. Yeah, do, we'll do, do ring. ring. We'll do ring. That's fine. I've only watched one, but I thought what that was really watching good. Ring. You're not watching Ring too. No, Jeremiah doesn't watch. What anything. the fuck? <laughs> Wait, you <laughs> watching House at least? Yeah, that's what he's oh, here okay. for. He's here for House. So right. why why don't we talk House so that we can bring a special guest in, and then we'll just catch up from that episode, Tony. Okay. That's fine. <sighs> but let's okay, let's. I mean, let, or, or, I have, I have an appointment at two, so why don't we talk about Ring first? Then once we're done with Ring, I can go to my appointment. You guys can talk about House. Well, we should be done by two anyway, because I gotta go to the bank. So. Yeah, so we have oh, to okay. both with them. All right, all right. Yeah. Go, right. Go, go House first. Go House first, then. All right, let's yeah, go House. So, talk about House, and I, I just want to start off because I watched the first episode. I am gonna be the first one to admit because I I can admit when I'm wrong, like unlike some other people, but. I was wrong to judge it based on how Game of Thrones ended and thought, oh yeah, this is not going to be good. It was, the first episode was a 10 out of 10 and I think you need to watch Game of Thrones. You, okay. You don't need to watch it, Game of Thrones, to understand this, but there were subtle hints on that first episode that you're like, yeah, oh, you remember it from Game of Thrones, like the uh, names, the banners, the different houses. But, yeah, the, the banners. Yeah, the, the, but I'm talking about I'm talking guys. about the uh, the dragon scale uh, scar that he had, the cut, like where the the Meister is like looking at it, and that's that's the dragon uh, scaling, right? No, no, that's no. stone. That's stone that's from, scaling. That, no, that's, no, 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 that's from the that's from, from the, the throne. Throne. He's infected. So the, the the thing with the throne is you do you have to be careful when you sit on the throne, he, he cut him, so. or you're gonna cut yourself. Yeah, I saw that in the they, finger. He cut and, the finger. And, what, and once you cut, yeah. Your, yeah, well, that's from the back too. Once you puncture yourself, there you can't. It, there's just no healing. It's just. Oh, I around. thought you were talking about the stone. I thought that, that's what uh, he. I thought later. No. Well, that's what it, I thought. It, the the he the goop was. Just has an infection. Yeah, he's infection on his back from the throne, and then he does it to his finger. It's, oh, okay. it's what it's what uh, it will probably will will end up killing him because they're, they're in ancient times. You know, they don't have penicillin. Yeah. Or anything like so that. let me ask you this. Um, okay, in, in the lineage of the show, this is uh, the the his daughter is the granddaughter or the the grandmother of Daenerys. No, it's so super far back. 150 or 160 something years. Oh, She's not even near. Okay, so the, the great great grandmother, like who is I mean, the like, descendant? Great great. Who's the descend? Who's Daenerys's 
lineage on this one? Is it uh, Matt Smith's character or is it the woman's character? The girl's character? <laughs> Funny story. Funny story, he says. How funny is it then? Yeah, tell me. Is it like it's, funny it's, like it's clown funny. or funny like... There's... Like, I don't know what you... No, I know. I know what you mean. Oh, so they're, it's an incest thing. Yeah, they're Targaryens. Oh, God. In, in, the, in the books, at least. Out of, in the, the family tree that is known, yeah. I don't see them really deviating from it. Renera and Daemon have a kid. have multiple kids. Okay, and that's their... So, okay. So that's where Daenerys comes from, is those guys. The inside, inside the, in the family, okay. Yeah, Daenerys is the Mad King's daughter with his sister wife, Raelia. Re Re She's the youngest of the three children after Rhaegar. That's for Daenerys. Yeah, I know the, like I know her parents, but I'm just saying... Well, you want to know how far it goes away. Yeah. How far, yeah, because obviously they made a point of it to... You know, the first episode is 173 or 72 years before uh, Daenerys, and that had the sticks in people's heads so that they didn't, you know, whatever. But, I mean, the, like I said, the first episode was good. I thought it was a little weird. How old is she in this, like, episode, or the first episode? Renera's 15. Yeah, okay. in the, yeah, in the first episode, she's 15. There are a lot of time jumps that you're going to have to get used to. Well, yeah, I mean, I figured because they're not gonna just do like, I mean, they if they're if they're gonna do a couple seasons of this, it's and to get up to the Mad King, they can't just do it in you know what I mean. They can't just do it like. Yeah, well, like I'm saying, like episode one, like where that ends. To do a mini episode, episode two, there's like a two year time jump. Then two to three, there's like a five year time jump. Then three to four, there's like a six year time jump. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, like, they, they, they essentially, they they disregard all the just normal, like, right. meh times. So what they what would you say? From, like, section to section. Okay, of, so like, out of everyone that's watched it, what is your favorite episode? And just, you know, just quick. My, my favorite episode would be last week's episode. Uh, and I, everybody would know why, but all I have to do is say is Damon. That's all you need to know. Okay, Damon. Uh, yeah. Uh, last week's episode was really good. I'm gonna go with this one though, just because it set up a lot of what's going to what's happen, happen with a yeah. lot of the political infighting. So and JP's is episode four. Things. Yours is episode five. Uh, wasn't this episode four? No, I thought this was episode week was four. Oh, episode. This was episode four. Yeah, yeah. So I got three. All right, so yours is three. Episode five is gonna have another major time jump, I think. Okay, and then uh, Spence, you. The different act actresses. Uh, I don't know. Probably the first one. This last one was pretty good, but I did not really like the third one. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like the third one. It was not that good. <laughs> Why was it that good? Good take, number? Spencer. Yeah, explain it. <laughs> I, I feel like it was. I feel like it was rushed. I mean, I don't know like how much of an emphasis how, was, how was it supposed it to be put on. Well, but then again, the thing they is, set, so they like, set that battle up. They set that doing. battle up since they set that battle up since episode one. That was an issue since episode one. Yeah, and you gotta also then remember, episode three is like seven years later or some shit. So yeah, this is from episode one, right? And that's just kind of what they're doing. Is they're just like they're they're speed running the timeline. Kind yeah, of. I get that. It's, like I said, it's going to continue to do that because what is it? I think next episode is when the older actresses come in to for over the Renera yeah. and uh, Allison. So they already confirmed so, the season two, though, right? I believe uh, so. I don't. I have no idea. I think so. But, I mean, they, they've still got time. So, in, in the family tree, where it is right now, Renera and Damon's kids then have kids who 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 then have kids and then those kids are 
uh, Daenerys. So there, there's there's a while in the little family line there. Okay, so uh, let me say, so their kid they have kids, and then their their kids have kids. So, so Daenerys, Rhaenyra would be Daenerys's great 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 grandmother. That's how far back in time you're looking. Okay. In terms of the Targaryen. So they have the same grand. They, and his her grandfather is obviously her. The uncle too. Great right? great. Okay, that's strange as hell. Yeah, great great yeah, great times nine and great times. If you eight. if my, like if you really want a, like a strong handle on it, go to the I'm that gonna, dude gonna, that does the Easter egg thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. And he explains the whole because it is confusing. Awesome, Mike. Hey, did you hey, see? Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to Mike. Uh, obviously, we, I don't want to ruin Mike's n next three episodes because they're extremely, extremely good. But I'm going to watch um, it either way, so we can talk about it. Though. Yeah, yeah. As, as of now, assuming they don't change anything in the show, based on the the books that this show is based off of, and then all the history from Game of Thrones, what I just sent you that is the Targaryen family tree. All right, let me ask you this then. The, uh... The king and the queen at the at the beginning. Uh, obviously, the king he died, and then he passed. Viserys. Viserys. He. Oh, so no, no you're Paris. Viserys's father or grandfather, right? You're talking. All right, hold on. I'm in, talking, in, no, the I'm episode, talking. in the okay. beginning episode, with the old man king, the original old king king, in the city of ruins, which is Black Hole. Yeah, Black Hill. That's that's Jaehaerys. Yeah, that's Jaehaerys. Okay, so well, no, in in the first little clip, that's that's. Aegon the first. Aegon the first, right. And then he dies, Jaehaerys takes over, and then that's what leads to like decades of peace. Or whatever. Jaehaerys, okay. Yeah, then Jaehaerys has kids, and his kids, two of them, the brother and sister, are Viserys' parents. And that's the, the main dude, Rhaenyra's father. Okay, so... Venerius is and his wife. His wife was also his sister. According the one to that died, the one that died during the, birth, yeah, baby, yeah. Cause um, it, it's her. no, it is like, it's his, sort of, yeah. All right, like, his cousin. It's like so. It's his sister's kid with someone who's not in the family. Yeah, Lord. Roderick. Roderick, yeah. So it's his it's his niece. Basically. So they're they're like first cousins. Yeah, cousins. Okay. They're first cousins, and then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this explains it. So he does he does get with High Tower. Serious. Alicia. Yeah. Alicia. Oh, I see. Okay, so then she has Aegon. Okay. Well, there, there's a there's a lot of Aegons. They just use this name over and over and over again. Yeah, but he becomes the king. It says right here, King Aegon the second. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the, people become the king for various small amounts of time. You know. Yeah, king for a day, right? <laughs> and uh, and hey, Mike, you know how we were talking about She Hulk? You're like, oh, uh, uh, you didn't want too much of the. You know, sexual sexuality. You know, men yeah. versus women thing. But this is this is gonna be, this is gonna be almost the same thing where you know, nobody wants to see a, a woman, woman on throne. Yeah. Just yeah, exactly, exactly. But it, it, they do it in a way. It's not the way they bring it up, which it will be in the, uh, the next episode, and how they do a cool interaction between of some of the characters, um, and the the way certain characters manipulate that to their advantage is really really cool so i mean i i agree with you on that down with, but the, in this show they do it right and it's not as cheap as they did with daenerys you know oh, daenerys, you know what i'm saying she's she was the only targaryen basically left and she basically came out of a hut you know that was burned down in, in front of everyone and saved slave this one is more just like yo we have a lineage system and I, your job is to make babies you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's like Really, really cool uh, how, how they did it in the next episode, and then also the fight scenes. Like, you're, we want action, action, action. But the so, some of the action that's coming in is is almost good as some of the great fights in uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. 
God, just looking at this family tree is like, what the? Don't fuck? even look at it, bro. Oh, it, don't even look shit. at it. Shit, yeah, God. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's like Alabama, man. God. So bad. Well, so, did you say that they're going to be older in the next episodes? Is when they're using new, yeah. new actors? So, oh, yeah, the, the Renee's and the, the, the uh, whatever. Yeah, it, like, it, it already Allison. been announced, yeah, it already been announced, like, a while back that there were two sets of actresses for Renera and for Allison Hightower. Like, they were already cast, everything like that, and that once it hits, like, episode, it's supposed to be episode five or six? At least that's what they originally said. I don't know whether or not any of that's changed, but the, eventually one of the time skips will switch the actresses for both out. Which is fine, because no offense, Renee is super young looking. She's not going to change the way she looks for yeah. a very long time. It, like, it's, it's, re it's really weird, though, because like, the, the ages of the actresses are not that different. But it's just how they they look. It's how they're built. Like mm -hmm. like, like Renero right now, her actress is twenty two, and like I think the one who's taken over for the like older version of her is like twenty eight. But just because of how they look, like the one who's like the older version looks like she can play, like in her like you know late twenties, thirties, compared to the current actress who can play like 15 it's like the saved by the bell how like they're in high school but every character is like 25 i will say that like based on the stuff that i've been reading and, and watching I, I know back in the day like you probably looked a lot different at 30 than you would in modern day like you probably yeah like, you look like you're 60 Probably. Yeah. Like healthy, right? Yeah, but well, like uh, yeah, when I heard that, like to, comparatively to lifespans, you know, correct. But 15 like fifteen was middle age. But like the he, he I don't people, know. People had no penicillin. They they got, cut their finger on a throne and then died. Like he's supposed to be thirty five <laughs> or thirty six according to the books, and Allison's supposed to be twenty five, and he's like fifty five, and she's like, is he supposed to be? No, he's supposed to be. Yeah, he's supposed to be like thirty five. Viserys. Yeah, he's older yeah. now, right? Are you no. sure? He's supposed to be like 35, and Allison's supposed to be like 25, but she looks like she's 20, and he looks like he's 50. Yeah, because when, when they originally get together, you know, well, yeah, when he originally, Viserys originally marries Allison, you know, he's like in his late 20s, she's like 15. Canceled. Yeah. It could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, it could have gone a lot worse. You, you, you see the date he, he goes on. No, no. Like, 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 uh, my boy, so my boy fucks up. Episode? My boy fucks up real bad, but he at least he makes a conscious decision not to make a really bad decision. <laughs> yeah. His decision, like he made a lot of decisions. His, but... his decision to go with the fifteen-year-old princess is. Sadly, way better than oh, what he was offered. Maybe we cannot in, talk in about this. Goes, Maybe we can't talk about this show. Drones. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah, you, but you like, remember that dude from the one episode, the too old? Like that's that's the Game of Thrones series in a nutshell. Oh, no. Too old. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Now, I guess I'm just kind of curious. Do you guys think that they're trying to? like speed up the timeline so much because they're trying to end up closer to like game of thrones timeline or is it for other reasons i think they i think they want to uh, get to the mad king well you gotta understand like they, 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 have, be cool. they have one book they have one book and then on, on top of that it's like they had basically sections of peace and then we have to wait until the kids grow up to a yeah. certain age you know once once the baylor uh or Baylon or whatever his stupid name is gets born they have to do somewhat of a time skip because it's like it would be like okay infant to seven what is he doing basically nothing nah no I know I just I I don't know I feel like the the tensions that are like present in the show it's just like it's 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 very dramatic and I don't know I don't know if it's just some kind of bias that I have like because I liked Game of Thrones so much and then maybe I'm like stuck on the terrible ending but this is an action drama yeah that's a that's what terrible you, it's the worst ending you, of all time. When you say this is an action drama, what would you call Game of Thrones then? I'm I'm saying Game of Thrones. I'm, I'm, you're trying to say, oh, I'm not down with all this drama. 
This, that's literally what the definition of... Yeah. No, I know, but, like, that's the thing. Is like, there was drama, and there was, like, a lot of good dialogue in Game of Thrones, and I just, like, haven't really felt like I've gotten, like, ex- like Game of Thrones level dialogue and interaction and, like, what setup. Mean, the first episode was, what? like, that. the first episode was the most mm. Game of Thrones thing I've ever watched. The dialogue between Princess Renee and the, the first the first daughter. That wasn't a good dialogue that I was trying not to break for for Mike. The first daughter, uh, which the which older one? one that was married to the, the oh, when she was explaining yeah when she was explaining that, was, that like, wasn't good dialogue. You're gonna tell was, me that wasn't good dialogue. That was okay. <laughs> that, that dialogue was probably up to par with any of the. And this is why we can't have Spencer. Any of the Game of Thrones. Thrones. Then you go to episode three, and then people are literally like, "Oh, I'm like memeing about Damon being the star of the episode and not having said anything." And like, this, is, and this is that's the point. He was so good at acting, and his scene was so good. He didn't have to say one word. That's. How are you gonna? How are you gonna be like, yo? The dialogue's missing when the whole point <laughs> of that scene was him not to say anything. Like, what are you? Are you? What, what? Uh, all, right, all right, you're gonna argue with Spencer for the next twenty minutes. Can we do the, like, <laughs> like the last ten minutes here on Ring of Power? Yeah, Ring of Power. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just talk about the first episode, and then, and, then, and then afterwards you can argue with Spencer. Listen, listen, hours. we're gonna I'm just talk about, about the first episode of Ring of Power because I, I'm gonna catch up on that. I have no way of catching up okay. on uh, uh, House, yeah. House of Dragons, but. That first episode, I, I don't know. Well, like apparently, you guys only waited to catch up on it to come over to my house. Hmm. Dude, I... well, let me just tell you that uh, number one, Mike, you can agree that the budget shows because we. I was worried that you know you get a large budget like that, they just sh- slam it. You know, yeah. just bullshit that you don't need. Really, really good. Oh, uh, yeah. The the way they the way they portrayed Galadriel uh, and how boss she is, it's. Hold on. Let me ask this. Let me ask this to Mike real quick. Since mm-hmm. you just watched the house, what's better, house or ring? Dude, it's like the same. Okay, what well, like we did the other day. House, <laughs> house of Targaryen or House of Dragon, She Hulk, and then the ring. One to three, rate them. Right now, three. On okay, episodes, three is the worst or the best? Three is wait, what? I don't know. Third, 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 third place. Third place is She Hulk for sure. That's garbage. Um, <laughs> okay, a ten out of ten, a five out of ten, and a couple Mike, of threes. Mike doesn't, Listen, Mike doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so, all right, you know what? Forget, 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 forget it. Can we? Can, can we get? Wait, wait, wait. Can we get his one to three? Yeah, because yeah. I don't want to hear you two argue for the then, next two hours. Then uh, I, I would go Ring of Power and then House. So House one, two, Ring and She Hulk five. All right, Dan. What about you? I I did it last week. Yeah, but I mean, has it changed with the episodes? No. I forgot what you said so, last week. No, I, I wasn't gonna, Ring of Power, She Hulk, and House. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it? You think it could change? You think like like after? Yeah, as soon as come Daenerys out, comes out, Daenerys when she's born. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I don't. I don't think they're ever gonna get to the Mad King. I don't like, think. No, of course they are. No, no, not not yet. They, they will, they will, but not at, probably season three. No, no. But but anyway, back back to back to, to ring. No wait, and then yeah. uh, JP, what was yours? Uh, she called. Uh, well, first is uh is ring house, mm-hmm. and then okay. and she. she okay. Yeah. It's but I can change because house and house and ring are really close. Yeah, that's uh, based on the first episodes of each. I'm gonna to have to say like house just because ring I I never had a connection to Lord of the Rings really maybe because there's too much going on I don't really care like I'm like I don't even know who these characters you are even, you can't like, even read a family tree and you're saying too much going on yeah exactly listen to, like when you when you like Wait, so how do I you not a... know who these characters are didn't you see Lord of the Rings mm, I, listen listen mm, not sober listen, <laughs> listen uh, when uh what I had to do some of these like. I had to like pause it, and I was like, "All right, look up this person real quick." Like, did they mention him in these movies that I watched? Right. And when you realize that they did, then you know the connection to it, and then because you got like, you know, you got the smog one. Well, someone you got the someone connected. Before, no. Someone connected us for me right now. The woman that is the protagonist, not Dan's, okay. not Dan's version of protagonist, but an actual protagonist. Yeah, she's the one that she's okay. the one that. Bro, hold on, I'll I'll tell. It's the one that Frodo uh, is talking to the white elf in the in the 
in the forest and she turns like evil at the end because of the ring and and she like goes all like kind of crazy that's and then her she's like yeah that's her yeah that's when she's young that's like when yeah that's when she's a commander of the fucking army of the, yeah of, so of the, so Hell her the, she's obviously oh, the, the, the ring the yeah. ring changes her i know that part but. right and the old the, the other elf that she's talking to a lot is the guy is agent smith elron, elron. from Riverdale. Yeah. Yeah, the the Agent Smith uh, guy. They're they're like two of the main characters from the original. That's the guy she's talking in the woods in yeah. episode one, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so, do you remember? You know the original Lord of the Rings movie where it starts no. off and the there's the Love overview story. of what happened. No. Yes. Well, see that. <laughs> go go watch the original Lord of the Rings movies. The the opening narration. Done for the original. Dude, Lord of the when's movie. the first? It's, it's when did the first movie come out? Lord of like the Rings. Twenty years ago. Okay. Yeah. You know, so I've only watched those movies once. I haven't gone and said, "Oh, I, I feel like watching Lord of the Rings tonight." You know what I mean? No, no. See, that's a problem. Yeah. If you go back and <laughs> you see, you're, you're rewatching like Smallville, which is fine and everything like that. But with these other episodes, like you should go back and watch. You, you mm-hmm. go back and watch Lord of the Rings, and you're gonna be like, like, Damn, like even right. even just. I won't even have you go back and watch the extended edition because those are fucking like six hours each movie. Go just go back and watch the regular versions at least. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll be like, Damn, so, these are so, so that bad. that way you can at least have a refresher. All right, who's Bilbo? Who's Bilbo's Joker? grandpa? Yeah, I'm gonna put yeah. the prelude. I'm gonna put the prelude in the but, chat. But okay. t- for a thing, the the original, the opening narration of the send- Lord of the Rings. Okay, I'm sending it to I, him right now. That's fine. Oh, I'm saying that's spoken by Galadriel in the original movie. Yeah. Also, in terms of years, what well, like House of the Dragon is like you know almost 200 years. This is thousands of years before the Lord of the Rings that this takes place. Yeah. Listen, just get a refresher on Lord of the Rings, and then you'll be like, "Yeah, it, that the Lord of the Rings movies are good." I know the last no, time I good, watched yeah, it, T N T, you got the commercials and stuff. If you watch it through, like Aragon and all those guys, no, like, I think it's like, good. They, I, I just, you know, like, twenty years ago is a different time in your life. You know what I mean? Like, the, yeah, the, the last Lord of the Rings movie wasn't even. It was just the Hobbits, right? And that was good. No, the Battle of the Five Armies. That or that one was good. Like that was a good ass movie. Like, no. And the Hobbit is a preload to Fellowship. Of, to right, right, right. So I didn't watch the Hobbit because who cares about Hobbits? But um, no, that's good too, man. Damn, dude, dude what are you sad that you didn't watch that? You're doing a, you're doing a disservice. All right, well I'll watch it. I don't know, but I'm just you, saying. You love, you love Wow and all that kind of stuff, and this is basically yeah. rip off of Wow. You know what I mean? Uh, no, that's what, wow, you know, that's what I was thinking. Wow is based on rip off of Wow. That's the thing that came out in the '60s. I meant the other way. Come on, you're like, I was, th- I, 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 I was, th- Damon. I, he looked like the Lynch King with that white hair and the suit. That yeah, was cool. yeah. that was sick. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just do like a refresher on it. If you get time to kill, like just you know. We clean up the house, put on Lord of the Rings. Oh, the kids, then... All the kids are in school tomorrow, first day ever, so. Yeah, but we're going to hit balls tomorrow, right? Yeah, but I, I got to get up at 7 and then go to school at 8, so. Yeah. Also, uh, Mandalorian um, uh, trailer came out the other day, apparently. Uh, listen, a lot of trailers. Oh, uh, we, we, we uh, can talk. Se- 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 Secret Invasion we, came out listen, the other day. Yeah, we, we could do, we could do a show host. on trailers. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, though. D3, I mean. Or D23. D23. Yeah, I, to me, I was, you know me, no X-Men. No. Well, it's also because you got yourself all in, in a thing like, yeah. oh, it's confirmed. Henry Cavill is going to be a shit. Yeah, I'm glad, so I'm glad that, confirmed. I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm talking about yeah, but no, but no so X-Men you're, you're talk. There, you're like, this person was there, this person was there, this person, they're all confirmed to be there. And who, who was there? Nobody. Yeah, that's, hmm. yeah, like someone, someone that's tricked That's why you... Yeah, that's why you don't read the. Yeah, but that, that, that but that's not the reason. That was like, that was not the, Mike, was not the reason why I thought it wasn't good. I just thought like, oh, Mike, yeah, go take a selfie, okay, put it in the group chat, and we're gonna put bamboozled on it. All right, that's you. You just bamboozled all the time. Why can't we just take Spencer's read? face? Yeah, you need your, <laughs> your your face on top of Frodo Baggins and say I've only watched <laughs> one time of each movie. Yeah, yeah, bamboozled. <laughs> Dan's never oh. watched Interstellar. Like, come on, dog. Yeah, but we don't do episodes of Interstellar. We're about to. First of all, 
how do you know I've never watched Interstellar? Because you told me the other day. He watches you at night. <laughs> the other day we were talking about good movies, and you're like, we were talking about Interstellar, and you're like, I've never seen it. I'm like, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Dan. Okay, Dan. Tomorrow you watch Interstellar. Mike, you watch Road of the Rings. Okay. And how's the Targaryen? Tomorrow, Mike, just start catching up on everything that you should have watched 20 years ago. Okay, and you watch Smallville, and we'll be even, all right? Oh, there you go. Listen, I don't have access to Smallville. I don't have access to damn Lord of the or, uh, House of Targaryen or House of Dragons. Yeah. Okay. Well, All sw- right. Swapping How about cars. this? You give me your uh, HBO, and I'll give you my uh, Smallville. My HBO team. is literally tied to my address. You have to come over here. Oof. Uh, that's a hard pass. Ooh, that's that's, a, that's, a, hard, that's <laughs> the hardest pass. That's the hardest pass ever. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing at Big D's all day? I'm watching House of Digger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. All right oh, so ne- ne- next week, uh, obviously, a little bit of She-Hulk, and then we'll talk. I'm I'm gonna get caught up for everything because it's uh-huh. just, yeah. At, at the very least, catch up on Ring of Power. You have yeah. access to that, and then we'll try to figure out how to get you to catch up on House. Just give me fi- watch- just give me fourteen ninety nine. Give me fourteen ninety nine. I'll watch it. You give yourself fourteen ninety nine a month. Uh yeah, I gotta get my allowance, you know. So, all right, um, all right. yeah, and I gotta catch up. But uh, I'll be there a little bit. I think I should be there on time tonight because Chris is works from home now. So, I mean, hopefully, don't you have the switches? No, Tony hasn't. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, I'll talk to you guys there. Thanks for coming, Spence. Yeah. Man, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming with your garbage takes. Ooh, that's how I'm ending the show. <laughs> I'm ending the show like that. <laughs>